guests are musical royalty in Canada, and they've been performing together since their marriage in 1993. A grand romance turned into an outstanding artistic collaboration. I welcome the great Canadian baritone Louis Quillico and his partner, the acclaimed pianist Christina Petrowska, on stage in Studio Two. Here, your voice is so powerful that I can hear my ears ringing. Well, it's what does he like when he sings in the shower? Uh, he sings like this at home for each <laughs> rehearsal. Yeah, yeah gives but me never in the shower. Never? No. Is that not a good place to No, practice? it's not that. It's because everybody does it. I don't. <laughs> I gotta be special. <laughs> I was just thinking, asking the pianist how the baritone sounds in the shower is not a question that I think I have ever asked any group of performers and yet I get to do this because there's a magical story about how you met and decided to marry. Uh, Who gets to tell it? I guess... You said no. <laughs> You said I uh, did a book called Opera Illustrated and my manager uh, wanted um, one of the hmm. big three, um, Pavarotti or Domingo, and uh, it didn't work out. I couldn't get together um, to New York and all that. So she said, you know, you really should ask a Canadian. And I thought that was a great idea. So she said, uh, Louis Pulico is our great baritone. And she said, um, uh, why don't you get him to write the preface? So I walked in with my book of drawings. And um, Louis saw it. And um, the first uh, 
first date, he said, you know, you should marry an opera singer. <laughs> and I think uh, four dates later, we, uh, we got together. <laughs> what did well, you think the first time she walked in? I have to say one thing. She, I was very much impressed mm. because I had never seen her. And I didn't know who was going to come in or anything like that. And the thing that was, for me, a wonderful feeling, it's not only that there was a beautiful woman in front of me, but there was more than that, you know? It, 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 to be able to talk with someone, this is very important in life. And it creates everything that, you know, if you don't have that, you, you're sunk. I read somewhere that uh, the first time you did it, sit down to talk you talked until very 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 we started late. at 10 30 in the morning yes and we went to four o'clock the next morning now was this wait a minute uh -oh. Oh. <laughs> i want you to know yes platonic way yeah we talked about music Just talk and the funny and, thing is yeah. that we didn't meet um, performing we met over this book and uh, but right. there was an addendum to that because yeah. you said you would do it only if i did your portrait that's right so the and what did you think of that I thought it was a great idea, and I thought it was just fair. If he was going to do the preface for my book, I should do his portrait. No, she was wonderful, because she would come home, and she'd say, well, uh, today I don't want to take your uh, face or anything like that, but I want to take it's your hand. Oh. And she would take my hand, and she would say, I think I would like you to do something like that, you know. And she played with my hand. <laughs> and you, and you was, liked that. He well, went along. <laughs> Now, the reason, of course, that you were drawing, I mean, the extraordinary thing is not only are you a world-renowned pianist, but you do all this other stuff, really detailed, exquisite drawing. She's sort of what? Oh, yes. Like a Renaissance woman. Uh, it's, uh, it's a very difficult thing to, for me to talk because I always say, when I sit, especially with her, the two children, or two, uh, my, step, my two stepdaughter, and my mother-in-law, if we sit around the table, what do you think happened? I, I can't imagine. Women power. <laughs> I shut up. Oh, I see. Because but that's all right because your voice is so powerful. No, it's You should right. be resting your voice sometimes. No, because these three together, you put them together, it's incredible. It's a world by himself. What does you know? it feel? Cause let me, I, I want to talk a little bit about your music, which is so different from his music. And in some ways, this is a remarkable partnership as well. But your voice, it's so strong. And now I appreciate that you know, you're saving it when you're sitting around the dinner table with all the women in your life. But what does it feel like to have that kind of power? I, I don't try to be powerful. It happens, it doesn't is, it? It's not that. You learn how to produce a voice, and that, that's what it is, you know? People always think, oh, he's got a big voice, a big... I don't have a big voice, but Sounds the voice, here, it's it? not that, it's well projected, and that is the thing that's very important. But is it true that you're in your 70s? Is that uh, true? Uh, am I? Yeah, well, yes. Then, uh, yes, yeah. yes, I am, yes. Because not only do you look remarkably as if you're not, and there's a 23-year age difference, is that right? That's right. Do people sort of go, ah, that's too big, that's too big a difference? I don't think so. Uh, if they're not our friends, they might, but I think it's the same with music, the same with life. You have to go for the quality, whether it's rap, whether it's new music, whether it's opera, whether it's classical. If it's good, it's good. I listen to it all. I love it all. And it's the same with human beings. It's the relationship uh, between two people. If it's there, it's there. It doesn't matter what I have to say, for me, it was one thing that was great. After that I met her and we started to talk and all that, I realized there is the woman that I will love the most I ever met and never loved a woman in my life. And that was very important for me. You know, the reason that I asked you, sir, is a really strong energy that's coming off of you. Yeah. And it, and it feels so young and so alive that I just, I just had to know. Anyway, yeah. back to the real world. You are doing a big benefit, the Opera Glamour Gala. That's right. June the 4th. Tell me a little bit about that because I know it's very important to you. Well, Shall I, um, Anne Summers um, is the inspiration behind and the force behind this um, gala. And there is an important thing that well, the world should know. The period between finishing school and yeah. getting out into the career um, 
she's very concerned with the singers, uh, and this is what the uh, gal is about. But it's the same for other musicians. They have to help young Canadian musicians. That's right. That's and they fabulous. have to have uh, encounters with employers, not just master classes to make them sing better or play better, but it's to meet employers, what to do with resumes, how to get jobs out there. So you're going to be performing both to inspire and to get some support for That's other right. performers. Thank you so much for being here and for sharing so much of your life with us. I think that are you perhaps going to sing and play a little more? We're gonna yes, on. we're going to do a well, thing. Before I will say, the song I will sing, it's a very special song for me especially because I'm talking about my wife or more or less in the musical comedy I'm in, it's a, it's a new wife. And this is my new wife, and that's what I'm talking. It's and the funny thing about it, this conversation is not with her. It's not with nobody else. He's talking to Mama up in the sky. <laughs> His dead mother, yes, and it's yeah. most happy It's a very, fella. very... And plus, on top of that, you will notice that I sing that with a certain accent. And that's the way it is, because he, he was a... Uh, he came from Italy and all that, you know, and... Uh, okay, we can't wait. Christina Petrowska on piano and Louis Quillico. There are two of their CDs, Two of a Kind and Chant Francais et Russe. So once more, Christina Petrowska and Louis Quillico on stage in Studio Two. Ah, I'm mad enough. When I look at my beautiful wife, I'm a feel so happy. I'm a thing I'm a gonna fight. I'm mad enough, I'm a so lucky fella. Mama, mama, hope in heaven, how you like my girl, how you like the sympathetic smile on the face, mama, that face, like the sun, she's the light of my place. Mama, mama, hope in heaven, how you like the dog, honey, looking boy, he's a so long is a fight such a joy is a fight such a joy in Palermo mama when I was a young man in Palermo mama you was used to say young but I'm a feel so strong I'm a feel so smart. Tell me, mama, mama, up in the heaven. 